Garo is definitely one of my favorite characters in One Punch Man. So if you've been keeping up with all of my One Punch Man videos, then you'd know that this video is a continuation of a series I started a few weeks ago, you know, just praising certain One Punch Man characters. And as you can tell by the title of this video, I am going to be talking about the one and only Garo, the hero hunter Garo, and why he's one of my favorite characters in One Punch Man. But before we actually start this video, make sure you subscribe if you're enjoying what you're seeing so far and leave a like on the video if you haven't already because, you know, it takes like one second. Why the hell not? Garo so far in the One Punch Man manga, I'm pretty sure is in pretty much everyone's top five favorite characters because he definitely is for me and there's no doubt that Garo has made a huge impact on all the heroes, especially the S-Class heroes. A good example of this is Darkshine. Darkshine used to be a very proud, muscular and overall very respected hero but after his fight against Garo it seemed like all of what made up Darkshine's character just disappeared which just goes to show how much Garo can change someone after one encounter. Garo definitely has one of the best fighting styles in the entire series. His ability is to adapt and adopt other people's fighting styles and not to mention the way he changes the way he fights depending on the opponent he's facing is amazing. Garo as well has a very interesting and thought provoking ideology. His ideas are very different to anyone in One Punch Man and with the recent chapter being released like a week ago, we get an even better understanding on what Garo is trying to be. I have a whole video discussing that, so check that video out if you like after you finish watching this video of course but as i was saying garo's ideology and aims are very different to both heroes and monsters admittedly his ideas may lean towards being more similar to monsters but to me personally the monsters in one punch man have very very and i mean very shallow and surface level ideals and aims they seem to have no real goal or reason to why they are doing what they are doing However, the reason Garo is so much more interesting is because the reason he thinks this way is because of his experiences as a kid and his unusual siding with monsters and evil in general. But Garo isn't a completely evil guy, which is the reason he is classed as a half monster instead of a full-fledged monster and I really like the way he's labeled as a half monster because it really does fit the type of character he is. He hasn't completely thrown away his humanity uh, but he still can't be considered a human due to the things he's done and what he's trying to do to society and I'm sure we can all agree that Garo is really fucking cool. I'm pretty sure we can all agree on that and i i'm saying this as in like he is the top three drippiest characters in one punch man and that's that like no one can argue that garo has drip bro on every single panel garo just looks fucking awesome the fights garo has had have been amazing as well the three fights that really stood out for me were garo versus metal bat garo versus eight heroes and garo versus darkshine i have completely separate videos on those fights and just analyze and breaking down each fight and why these fights are so good and just a heads up a lot of these fights involve either Saitama or Garo but anyway as I've said earlier in this video Garo is easily in my top five favorite characters in One Punch Man despite being only introduced in like season two of the anime another aspect of Garo that I personally really like is the rogue part of his character the fact that he was actually once Bangs's top student gives us a good understanding of what he used to be like and allows us to compare how he was before to what he's turned into now. I'm sure as we draw closer to the end of the current arc in the manga, we may get a little more information about Garo's backstory. But as I was saying, now that we know that Bang and Garo were once master and student, it makes me anticipate the proper fight between Bang and Garo. Personally, I feel like when these two fight properly, there will be more emotion and substance behind this fight compared to a lot of fights in One Punch Man. And this fight will be a lot more emotional due to the former connections they had as master and student. I absolutely cannot wait to see that fight. And more importantly, I can't wait to see other fights such as Darkshine vs Garo, Orochi vs Garo be adapted in Season 3. 
three of One Punch Man. And speaking of season three of One Punch Man, it's pretty obvious that the reason we haven't heard anything about season three of the anime is because the anime and the manga are still way too close to each other to actually be able to adapt a season whilst maintaining, you know, good pacing. And knowing Murata's schedule for when he releases chapters, I don't feel like we'll be getting season three anytime soon. But that's pretty much all I have to say for this video and that's pretty much all I have to say about Garo. This video felt quite short compared to my other videos on this series I'm doing on the channel but you know if you like the video make sure you leave a like and subscribe with notifications on and set to all and in the comments tell me who your top 5 favourite characters on One Punch Man are. Mine are Zombie Man, Metal Bat, Garo, King and the man himself Saitama. But apart from that, but apart from that, I will see you in my next video.